Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plant Zoo. My name is Lisa, and today we're looking at the Liechtenstein Hartebeest mod by Leaf, Mark, and Mickey and Jay. So, I think we have some new, not necessarily new, but newer mothers here. And uh, I just love, I love when the mothers help each other. Uh, I think that is the only reason we have so good mods in Planet Zoo. It's because all of the mothers work together, communicate, and if there's something they can really hack how to do, then they ask each other and they have this beautiful conversation about them uh, on Discord. Discord, sorry. Um, but it's just, it gives these beautiful, beautiful mods that... I love, and I think since you're here, you probably love them too. So uh, yeah, the Lichtenstein Hunter Beast is uh, a antelope species, I would guess. Uh, antelope skate is pretty much everything from deer to gazelle, so I think that's roughly where we are placed in the animal kingdom. You can see it here. They have this beautiful unicorns. This particular po photo behind here doesn't show it off. They are actually quite straight compared to most of the pictures I've seen. But what I really wanted to show you on this specific picture is the coloration. They have really pigmented on this picture. Not all of them, but they have this darker patch on the back, especially the lower back. White or whitish, very pale booty. Uh, and then this darker patch on the side. They also have the darker mousy area. Uh, and these lighter drawings in the face, inner thighs, and um, lower stomach, I think is the correct way of saying it. I will though show you this picture where they look a little different here. You can also more see how the horns are most of the time. Uh, and you can see here the one is... They both have the lighter booty, but they're not as white as the other one. The drawings is a little bit different, and overall they are not as different in color as the first one we saw. So there is something to go between. So I was intrigued when I got into the game and saw that... Just need to go in here. That we have at least two colorations. Sadly, they are not named, so they are not easy to go by. But if I go in here... I'm just moving this so you can see it. Here you can see we have these that look gray and this that look... Sorry. These that look gray and this that look brown. But... When we get out here, it looks a little differently. So I'm just gonna click randomly. Oh, we actually have someone that looks gray here, a baby. That's also is gray on the picture. Ooh, I'm just removing myself here. So you can see it. <laughs> um, this picture is gray on this. Damn it. Come on. There. This baby is brown. So that's easy to understand. If I click on this adult, it's gray. Uh, again, colors doesn't have names. So this variation with the brown patch and the darker back is gray on the picture. Then if I click on this, it's also gray. But this is brown, and it doesn't have the uh, biggest chains in them. There's not a big difference from one coloration to another. You can, though, see when you just look around here, you can see when they go out in the sun that there is a change in color. But you can probably not spot and say specifically this is this variation and this is this variation. But you can see that some of them are mo more pigmented on the back than others. You can see here, this one is not as pigmented uh, than the one it just ran past. So that's just a little thing. Uh, in general, models, please give them uh, colorations because it will help us out a lot if we want something specific. Um, anyway, it is a XM mod. I just checked over here. 
Um, I'm trying to remember if the modders write anything specifically. Yes. Uh, it is a Axie mod, so you need Axie. You do not need anything else. It is made on Disable Antelope, so it will have the animations and the uh, behaviors of Disable Antelope. Uh, and they come with full uh, Supedia. It also says extra color mobs. I'm not sure if it's just that si single extra color or if it's more than that. Um... Ooh, and he have a coffee, so if you want to buy him a cup of coffee, uh, it is on uh, his uh, the Nexus page. Uh, I do not share their links unless they're uh, telling me I can do so. Uh, I haven't gotten into contact with Lee currently, uh, so therefore I do not link his his coffee. I have links for some of the others, uh, mothers, but in general I have linked to there to the nexus where you can download the mod and on that page you can go to that coffee if you want to go and support them uh, however keep in mind even though there are three mothers in this mod leaf is the only coffee that listed there because he's the one who actually uploaded it so yeah anyway it's a least concerned animal and there is for the eight thousands of them left in the wild it is from africa more specifically tanzania democratic republic of the congo uh, Angola, Zambia, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and South Africa, and they live in the desert and grassland biome. Uh, one of them need 120 square meters of land and nothing else. I haven't seen them swim. That doesn't mean they don't. I just haven't seen them. And they live in places from 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. Um, keep in mind this is Celsius, and <laughs> not um, not Fahrenheit. Uh, which means that most of the zoos go up to 42 degrees Celsius, but all the way down to minus 10, 15, something. Uh, so you need a heater for them in most zoos. You need a grade 2 fence above 4 feet 125, which would be a meter and 20, 30, around there, I think. Uh, group sizes up to 30 and the gender uh, doesn't matter. Uh, dominant male, alpha male will lead small groups of 3 to th 16 females and young only while mating. Solitary and small 1 to 5 bachelor groups are also common. Um, <clears throat> that confused me more than it helped me. Uh, so if you understood that, then uh, yeah, great. <laughs> they are polyamorous, confident, and guests can enter their habitat. The males grows to three feet ninety three to four feet five at shoulder, and the females three feet nine to four feet two. Yeah, that's a meter. Oh, god damn it. Uh, god damn it, it's a meter and 20 to a meter and a half, I think. Roughly, roughly. <laughs> Um, uh, they live for around 20 years and the males weigh 480 pounds, 240 kilos, and the females 396 pounds, 200 kilo. They're heavy for their size. Um, reach sexual maturity at age one and a half to two and a half. I do not know, but it could have something to do with gender. Some uh, species, the females start breeding before the male. Bef the females start breeding before the males because all of the females have easy going with the mating. Where males, if they need to fight to be able to mate, then they probably will wait till they are a bit, bit bigger. Uh, 
will be sterilized at the age of 19 and only give a single offspring every second year and they are pregnant for 12 months. Uh, reproduction in captivity should be difficult but again you have a lot of them so I think you will manage. They will use a block of frozen ice. All ice are frozen. Grab ball, herbs and marker, rubbing color and for food in between we have the small ball feeder. Grassing ball feeder and a hang hanging grassing feeder and they do not have any interspecies enrichment. So yeah and as I showed you before here they are. They are quite beautiful and I love a good horn. Uh, <laughs> they look good. Oh they are see-through. <laughs> Which means they are probably built like only on the outside if you imagine that so since you shouldn't be able to get inside them it doesn't matter uh, that they see through you can see all the way around them it's not an issue it's only when you get into it but it's not you can see here the animal also disappear if you go into it so it's not not really a big deal uh, I think you can see here the bumps is actually built in they are not drawn on which give them this bumpy texture. You can see that from the side, especially here. We have a, little, a few bumps, uh, but they are, of course, also painted and they look really, really good. They look really good. I will look at the face in a minute when we can get someone who looks in the sun. Body looks great. They have short fur, but as you can see here, they didn't skip on the texture. We have a lot of small hairs and we have these deep colors within these lighter colors uh, and some are more pigmented than others. I really like it. We even have one of these, uh, what's they called? You know, when the hair decides to go some other way around, I have one up here uh, where the hair just choose. Oh, I'm not, I'm just gonna make like turn around here and you have nothing to say about it. That's pretty much what the hair does here, and it's kind of giving it more, um, <laughs> um, personality in a way. Not personality, but but more individuality. Then we have the dark spot here, which I don't understand. I saw a lot of the pictures I looked of them. They look like this, but I have no idea why. No idea. Uh. <laughs> And again, we have this drawing here. They are not completely wide, which I do enjoy. Even if they were completely wide, they wouldn't stay that way for long. They will get dirty. Uh, so I really like this color over a pure white. Um, we can see the rig through here. You can see those stripes going down. You can actually see that when you get out here. But if you have to actually look for it, then it's not an issue. It's an issue when just when you play a game, you can see those lines. Uh, which you can't. Um, overall, it's quite beautiful. Um, I don't understand. A lot of mothers do this where they go downwards with the hair and then they start stick some on the side like this. I don't understand it. I don't know how difficult it would be compared to making them go this way out, which I would think would be more natural. But again, I'm not a mother. I, I would would never be able to build a mud. So it's not like me hating on the mothers. It's just... I, as a person who don't know what I talk about, do not understand it. Uh, that That's all about it. We have the feed. And... Oh, we do not have a straight line. We kind of have a straight line, but they made it kind of bendy, which is much better than just straight line i really like that it's it's still it's not perfect guys it's not perfect we can work on it but it's much better than a straight line uh yeah it's one of my pet peeves also here it kind of looks kind of straighted but not completely and i like that i also like this coloration in the middle actually that takes it a little bit apart um all of the color changes here it looks very natural. You can see here, it's not like you just paint a spot on top of where you painted all the fur. 
it actually looks like texture. It actually looks like you have light hairs going in front of the dark hairs, dark hairs going in front of the light hair. I'm in love with it. I do not know the difference between male and female in this. And so I'm just gonna find a couple so we can look at them. Oh yeah. I'm gonna throw them over here. So we have a female. And this is the gray coloration. Should I then take a male of the other coloration? Just to really take it to the to the test. I was gonna say, but it's not really okay. All right. So you can see here this is the gray variation and it seems wet also. And this is the other. I think there's a horn difference where the females goes more backwards. Could you stand up tall? Hmm. No, I think it's pretty much the same. Uh, again, color, that's because it chose two colorations. So I do not see a specific change. Maybe this is a little bigger. But again, they have the roughly the same, like, smallest size. And that the males can be bigger, but not necessarily. Um, so it's not a species where with the lions you will always be able to pinpoint that's the male. It will not be like that. But uh, besides that, guys, it's really a beautiful animal. Like, and you can also see the spot on this is different. Um, it does kind of look like it, it's dirty. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, baby babies. Oh, did you just change color in the sun? What happened there? No. I'm not sure. Oh! <laughs> okay, I have seen textures pop in and out before. But never color like this. This is... <laughs> That's too funny. That's really funny. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah. That's <laughs> amazing, guys. But let's look at the baby here. It has these smaller horns. They haven't started actually bending and twisting yet. Uh, but they're just these smaller ones. We have a little bit of glitching. Keep in mind that might be my computer, so it may not happen on yours. We have a little texture with the fur here where it looks... Off. I wouldn't say bad, it just looks off to me and I think you can see what I see. Uh, so I don't think I need to say more than that. I can glitch in my, my computer. See, this tail actually looks better to me than the adult. Besides the fact that you can see the hairs here that doesn't really connect. Looks weird. From this angle, it, this angle it looks better. But it's just these, like... The stripes that end here, good. The one that go down here becomes very thick and around, bad. Uh, very specifically. The feet are made a little different. Like they change from hoof to foot or leg is different. We have the lighter patch in there. I cannot get closer. Um than that the hoofs looks a little plasticky but it can do that on calves so it may also be able to be that here i cannot say that uh, but it seems like the foot is bigger than the hoof especially out here you cannot see there here you can see that that looks a little off to me um but otherwise it's good the hair here, however, is much better. Especially up here, you can really see that beautiful uh, work of the uh, hair working in together, overlapping each other. Really beautiful here, and I wish they have done as beautiful a job in the face. Uh, which they kind of have up here, just not on the chin. And I'm not sure if they just chose the wrong color or something like that. 
because it's only on the chin. If you look here, it looks gorgeous, and here it looks gorgeous. We kind of get a little bit of here in the lighter part, but it's not as bad as the face. So yeah, maybe it's just a color that will wear off that is a possibility. In that case, I kind of want to see what happens in the this one, the one with the pub in color. This is not to mock the mothers, I will say it's not at all. I just want to see what happens here. And here you can see we actually don't get that effect. I assume all that we see as gray here is a color that's read wrong by the computer. Or like written to be read wrong. You know what I mean. It's clearly not the color the mother intended. I'm pretty sure of that. But if we imagine that it were the right color, I really think this would look great. I really think so. Um, and it actually really highlights the fur texture that I really like. I would rather have it be the right color, but here I can actually show you really well what I mean when I say all of the different colors and the way the hair lays on top of each other. It's really, really highlighted here. So that's more the point that I want to make here. It is a little funny. <laughs> it just is a little funny. But besides that, it is still gorgeous. Like the work behind it is gorgeous. The color is just funny. Um, but guys, yeah, the video is already way too long, so I won't bother you anymore. Uh, we have another one of them here. Um But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. Really hope to see you again. Either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye.